before you start your hand auger, make sure that the site and the test location has been cleared of all services above and below ground. Service clearance should have been completed by following the in-house TNT method statement for working around services. This is the auger head, this is the handle. You also use one of these, it's a photo board. You write down the correct details in here, and you take a photo of this with the hand auger core. Uh, some other things you might need are a camera for taking photos, some water, and New Zealand Geotechnical Society guidelines for how to log soil. If you're finding that the hand auger is getting stuck in the hole, you can just send the auger down and just spin it as you send it down. This just clears the hole and keeps it nice and wide. When you're doing a hand auger, it's pretty good practice to uh, line the core out along the ground. This makes it easier to log it once you've done your run. It's also good to take a photo. Do this by filling out this board, lying it in front of the core, Take a photo. When you take a photo, it's good to look down on it rather than from an oblique view. Sometimes you have to take samples. When you're taking a sample, you have to know what sort of material you're required to sample um, in the case of if any lab testing is to be done and at what frequencies of samples or even if samples are needed at all. If you are needed to take samples, for example for water content, you fill out a sample card like this. and you double bag it. Take a bunch of sample. Uh, there's all sorts of minimum guides and stuff that are dependent on the material and the test needed. But it's good practice to take a sample like this. Remove the air. Tie it off. Sample cards like that. And that is double bagged and ready for storage or further lab testing. It's also handy to have a tape measure, just to know how far down the hole is and to measure out any changes in the type of soil or subsoil it is. It's also a good idea to have water with you. The idea of this is it helps with uh, soil classification and we should always be logging to the New Zealand Geotechnical Society's guidelines. One thing it helps out with is for plasticity, whether it's high plasticity, low plasticity or not even plastic at all. It's very important to reinstate the hole to a respectable level. 
do that by backfilling with the material that you pulled out. And if you've run out of material, you uh, top it up using a bit of sand here that my assistant Mark has kindly got for us out of the car. When you want to disassemble the hand auger, you use pipe wrenches, you use them on these widened parts of the hand auger, it's a screw in variety. Just need to crack it and then it should be able to be undone using your hands. Don't use the pipe wrench on this part of the hand auger because it's constructed using, it's held together using just a single pin. 